I don't know all that time it took to get you and Kathy together and Rachel has to go and die. <laughs> what? I'm, uh, I meant, you know, you and Kathy hardly see each other. Yeah, yeah, I know what you meant, Marlon. But that's still the worst thing that's ever come out of your stupid mouth. There you go. Cheers. Ah, oh, Chris, uh, I've been looking all over you. Do you want to have a quick word with you, please? How's married life? Throwing you out already, is she? Uh, not yet, but she might do. Look, I realise this is probably best Get time. on with it. Um, it's about your offer on a trip to Paris. Roy, I like you. Let's take our relationship one step at a time. All right, fair enough. You have a laugh, but you offered to send me and Calif on a move to Paris. And you told me to stuff it. I did, yeah. What was wrong? This is a joke. Look at you, you're pathetic. Trying to divert her attention from the fact that you're nothing. And you're always... What are you smirking about? No, it's just if you're going to go off on one, I might as well get myself comfy, ain't I? Carry on. Uh, I think it was up to you'll always be nothing, just like your brother and your dad and blah, blah, It's blah. enough, Glover. <sighs> Sorry, I've uh, interrupted your flow now. I mean it. A lot of love, Kelly. And? And I wanted to have an honeymoon, a proper one like the one you offered. <sighs> you had your chance. And I was too proud to say yes. But I'd have to be stupid all my life. You can call me all the names under the sun and I'll take it. Because I love her. I'll crawl as much as I like, I don't care. What's brought this on? She has. She makes me dead happy and I want it to stay like that. She deserves the best. So can we please have us honeymoon back? <sighs> I'll bring the travel agents first thing in the morning. I'm um, not being funny, Chris, but is it all right if you do it now? It's just about... <laughs> Kelly's about to be force-fed by Dingle and uh, I'm sure even you can appreciate time is of the essence. Let us get one thing straight. I'm doing this for Kelly. That makes two of us. This is great food, Graham. Rachel was right about you. In what way? Oh, the way you can rustle up something from nothing. Do you want a job at the diner? <laughs> you really should think about getting back to work, you know. You need to see people, keep busy. Life goes on. Yeah, so it should. You've got nothing to feel bad about. Even flying off the handle at Jean Strickland the way I did? I really don't know what happened. Poor woman. After all you've been through, I think you're entitled to lose control once in a while. Am I? Things have settled down. You, know, you really liked around here. Even Chris seems to like you. Don't shut people out. You've been brilliant today. Biff's idea. You're very lucky. We're all here for you, Graham. I'm here for you. Just remember that. Give her water! Give her water! <laughs> no water! Only make it worse! You've got to eat more curry, that'll take the heat out! Well, get away from me! Stay away! Oh, have some water! Lie wool gel! It, it really is! This is wrong! I thought it was a coma! We don't like those Nancy curries. It's a vindaloo. I'm sorry, love. I didn't think. No, you never do. You've ruined everything, you insensitive Burke, with your <laughs> greasy fry-ups and never giving us a minute to ourselves. I'd rather spend my honeymoon in a bus shelter. Well, it can be arranged. Oh, don't stop it, Zach. Can't you see the girl's upset? Well, I've tried to make it nice for you. I've put myself right out. You can put yourself right back again. That's it. I'm going. I can't stand it a minute longer. What the hell's going on? And you've forgotten my champagne. Get me out of here, or the marriage is off. Are you poorly? <laughs> My insides are on fire. Honeymoon disease. But she does a favour, mate. Get us his bags. We're off. Charming! Poor Roy came in here earlier with a face like thunder. Oh, no, they haven't had an argument, have they? This is Kelly we're talking about. She's probably got the divorce papers already. Oh, don't be silly, you. He had a chat with Chris Tate. Marriage guidance on Chris Tate? Mm, I would like to have seen that. Five minutes later, he left, looking rather pleased with himself. Well, I hope they're OK. Maybe fine, Viv. All the passion and the hurly-burly of those first few days. Oh, even the arguments are sexy. You should try it, Scott. Yes, you should. Stop all this tailing it around the place and find a nice girl to settle down with. Look, shouldn't we go and see if Kelly's all right? <laughs> are you that stuck for entertainment? Shut up, Tricia. Don't worry, Scott. Your little sister will be canoodling by now. You can't beat a bit of making up. The taxi's here! Hey! The taxi's here! We're going back to Vince! We aren't giving you a lead! No! Where are 
you going? Honeymoon, where else? Oh, well, I thought you wanted your honeymoon here. Well, we did, but something else came up. Get in, cup. Oh, then it's Blackpool. Better than that. Scarborough. Look, we're going nowhere if we don't get a move on. Just in case this one is uh, like a trial run for the real thing. Cheers, Zach. I'm really sorry, Zach. Thank you. I mean, if I'd only had this up his sleeve, I would be much nicer. Ah, you can afford your wish now. Now you've got your proper honeymoon. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Honestly, Zach, we owe you one. Well, that's more curry for us. Now everyone's happy. <laughs> Tell me now where we're going, or I'm getting out of this place. Paris. I love you, Mrs. Glover. <gasps> Airport, please, mate. Oh. Are you happy? I am now. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Roy and Kelly haven't been having the best of times, but how are our couples in for better, for worse getting on? Find out at 8 o'clock tonight.